this object, which is absolutely fabulous. It is by an artist called Kichizan Minjo. He's one of Japan's most famous, most important ink painters, active in Kyoto, then the capital, at the very large Zen monastery, Tofukuji. And he's active at a, an incredibly pivotal point in the development of ink painting in Japan. A large number of Chinese paintings were just arriving in Japan. And Japanese artists, Japanese collectors were buying Chinese paintings, and Japanese artists trained in traditional Buddhist painting were learning how to paint in ink for the first time. And Mincho was one of those painters. He had a stable of followers at Tofukuji, and although he was trained in Buddhist painting, he very quickly picked up the art of Chinese style ink painting, as you can see. But he never gave up his love of the use of gold. And not only Minsho, but also all of his followers, one of the characteristics of their painting is the use of gold in otherwise entirely monochrome ink images. And so you can see the crown of this bodhisattva is painted in gold ink. The rest of the painting relies entirely on ink wash, on a variety of tones of ink wash, and then he, he leaves the halo and the face and parts of the chest entirely uh, blank. It's actually bare paper. And then in an economy of brushwork, describes the entire body of Monju with these wonderful contour lines on the robes and using what must have been just the, the finest brush she could find, paints these wisps of hair on, uh, around Monju's head. I couldn't be more excited to present this particular object. It commands a prominent position in the Buddhist gallery and I would encourage you to come look at it very closely.